In the hills of Lebanon stands Baalbek, a site where some of the world's largest stones were quarried more than 2,000 years ago. Among them are blocks weighing up to 1,000 to 1,650 tons. How could ancient builders shape stones this massive? And why attempt it at all? Archaeologists date the Great Temple Platform to the 1st century AD during Roman construction. But the largest stones, known as the Trilithon, and unfinished quarry blocks present a puzzle. Each weighs hundreds of tons. Scholars agree they are genuine quarried limestone, but opinions differ on whether they were successfully moved or left abandoned. Take the blocks locals call the stone of the pregnant woman. Its weight is estimated at around 1,000 tons. Nearby, the stone of the south is even larger at 1,242 tons, and a block uncovered in 2014, the so-called forgotten stone, is estimated at an astonishing 1,650 tons. Why carve stones this massive if moving them was impractical? Inside the temple platform stand the Trilithon blocks, each weighing 750 to 800 tons. They are aligned with the remarkable precision. Some accounts claim the joints are so tight a knife blade could not pass between them, but that is more observation than measured fact. Mainstream explanations propose ramps, rollers, or sheer manpower. Critics argue that if practicality was the goal, smaller blocks would have sufficed. Archaeological surveys confirm several stones remain partly attached to bedrock, evidence that quarrying was abandoned. Chisel marks show shaping activity, though whether all stones were intended for placement is debated. Roman engineer Vitruvius described cranes and hoists used for heavy lifting, but documented machines handled far smaller loads. By contrast, modern cranes in normal configuration handle 500 to 700 tons, still less than some of the Balbic blocks. These fuels debate. Were the largest stones ever meant to move, or were they statements of ambition that proved unworkable? One unresolved question is whether the Romans were the first to attempt this scale, or if they built upon earlier foundations. Some archaeologists note the integration of different buildings' phases at Baalbek. Others caution that extraordinary block size does not prove lost technology, only extraordinary ambition. The Baalbek megaliths remind us that ancient construction wasn't just about possibility, but intent. Whether completed or abandoned, these stones remain among the largest ever quarried and continue to raise questions about what motivated builders two millennia ago. What do you think? Were Romans overreaching or reusing something older? Comment below and subscribe to Documentify TV where history is challenged but always with evidence. That's it for today's video folks. See you next time right here on Documentify TV.